Today I'm going to tell you how to get free internet access. We're going to consider how to do it using Wi-Fi. We're going to consider three ways how to boost your Wi-Fi to the extent that makes it possible to connect to the wireless access points or to your mate's access point who shared his password with you. Even at the distance of several kilometers, the first way is to make a homemade antenna. There were lots of schemes of them in the internet. I tried lots of them and checked how well they work in actual practice. The best results in terms of boosting of signals, internet speed and simplicity of installing showed a double square antenna. Of course, we can connect the antenna instead of laptop or tablet antennas, but it's more convenient to use a USB adapter. I use TP-Link 7200 or TP-Link 722. These adapters are powerful themselves even without homemade antennas connected to them. They can connect to the wireless access points even at the distance of 100 meters. In case if you connect a homemade antenna to them, they get really very powerful. For making it, we need a full clad paper-based laminate or any metal sheet you have. Its height has to be 100 millimeters and its width has to be 120 millimeters. Also you need a copper wire from 1.5 to 3 millimeters in diameter. You can buy it in an appliance shop. An antenna cable isn't appropriate for us, but this cable is just what we need. Let's strip the wires about 28 centimeters. Let's measure 8 parts or 30.5 millimeters. Let's mark it here and cut it off. Then we need to bend it at 90 degrees. Try to be exact and keep in mind that it has to be done with pinpoint accuracy. Otherwise, it will weaken boosting. When all is said and done, you will get such an antenna. I have drilled a hole and inserted the antenna into the hole. The distance between it and the base has to be 15 millimeters. I have welded it in order to fix it. I also cut off the antenna and instead of it I attached a wire to the antenna adapter. The wire is also welded here. The center wire has to be welded to this part of the antenna frame and the other one has to be welded to the antenna part to which it's attached. Volume of the sound decreases for 1 decibel when it's applied to each connector. In order to increase the output signal for a couple of decibels, I took the antenna jack out of the antenna adapter and welded the wire directly. Then you can tape up the installation. You will need a USB extension cord in order to set it on the roof. If 5 meter extension cord isn't enough, you can use two of them, having plugged one cord into another one. In order to prevent water penetration, I decided to put the antenna into the bottle. We need to cut it and insert the antenna into the bottle. Then let's make four holes and wire it up. Let's turn it in order for this opening to face the floor and direct it there. Now let's see how it all works. I will check it with the help of the laptop. The experiment is held not in the city, but in the village. But we don't have many wireless access points. It can connect not to free access points, neither to locked access points. We can only see cable access points I once connected to. Even when I place it right in front of the window, it fails to connect to the internet. Now let's try to connect the antenna to the laptop. Let's plug the USB cable and wait for a while. You may need to install driver suite, but you need not if your operating system is Windows 7. It's already installed. You can place it near the window. It has already found three wireless access points. My network, TP-Link and something else. Our operating system has also detected them. But the signals are weak and mobile passwords are required. So let's try to put it on the roof for the sake of better results. Be careful, you may follow the roof and get injured. Let's attach it to the chimney. You can start speaking in 3 seconds. We set the antenna outside and we got lots of wireless access points. The main thing here is that one of them doesn't require a password. Now let's try to connect to it. Let's go to network and sharing center. 
we failed to connect to it, but it doesn't matter. If you turn your antenna, you can find more access points. Turn it through 20 degrees to the left. Yes, check it now. We've got new access points. Okay, now let's try to connect to it. It doesn't require password either. Yeah, we connected to it. Let's see how it works by loading a YouTube web page. Yeah, it works. How did the... Can I go down? Yes, you can. If the signal is weak, internet speed may be slow. Let's try to check its speed. It's really fast wireless internet, though those in the city may have something to say about it. It's really good speed for free internet in the village. We've got four new messages. It's amazing. Sometimes the passwords that others choose really surprise me. Why do they choose such simple ones? Let's try to connect to it. Let me enter passwords, some figures. And let's see. It's connected. Why did they choose such a simple password? Let me check. Maybe it's not an access point. Yes, it works with such a simple password. I want to remind you that the video was made in the village where we don't have many access points. That's why in the city we will have better results. For instance, in Pasha's flat, the same antenna got 78 access points. Nine of them didn't require passwords. I help lots of my friends to connect to the internet using this simple method, and they were quite happy. I use this method in lots of cities and villages, in Luhansk, Yalta, Moscow, and so on. It works everywhere. In most cases, there is no need to set the antenna on the roof. One of my friends in Stanitsa managed to connect to the internet at the distance of one kilometer. The antenna was attached to the window, and it worked well. Now, when I set off on a journey, I always take my double square shape Wi-Fi antenna. In most cases, to have this antenna is enough to connect to free internet. But sometimes the access points are too far away. Also sometimes there are no access points in villages. In such cases, you can use this antenna, FA20. Of course, to make it is much more difficult, but it can connect to wireless access points at the distance from 5 to 8 kilometers. You can also use a satellite reflector, having attached our antenna instead of the antenna feed. But in case if you can't make it, there is a ready-made solution. Nano station. There is a two-element antenna and a Wi-Fi booster inside the watertight housing. It can be easily connected by a cable to the client port. This Wi-Fi booster is more expensive, but you can buy used booster. What methods of connecting to free access points do you know? Share with us in your comments. In our next video, I'm going to show how to connect to the internet in remote territories, where there are no any access points, no power supply, no cable internet and no Wi-Fi. Basically no connection at all.